Welcome to La Vida Rosa. I'm your host Pinky and today I'm going to be doing Bantu Knots on blow dried hair and I've done a video like this before but this is like a totally different technique so if you'd like to see that then just stay tuned. But before we get into this video I would like for everyone to check out my website LaVidaRosaStyle.com where you can find a bunch of cute earrings like my exclamation earrings right here. See that's an exclamation point. That's a question mark. And also make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm beginning with blow dried hair and I blow dried my hair with a low setting and I used hair milk and leave in conditioner, a very light leave in conditioner. And I'm also gonna be trying the Revlon brush dryer to see how it works on type 4 hair. So let me know if you would like to see a video on that. And also I know my ends probably need to be clipped, but whatever. At this point, I'm just going to part my hair from ear to ear and put the rest into a ponytail. The parts I'm gonna be doing are gonna be fairly big. So I took that big section and I just basically parted it in half. Next, I'm going to take the Diva Curl Super Cream and I'm going to apply it to that section from root to tip. Honestly, I think I used too much for this section because it's starting to revert, but it's all right. I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb at this point and comb through to make sure there's no tangles. And I'm going to start twisting. I'm going to start about an inch from my scalp. And start twisting this time around I want the ban Bantu knots to hang a little bit the Bantu knot itself is gonna be tight but at the root it's gonna be loose and as you can see as I'm twisting it's a little difficult to do by the way <laughs> I'm basically going to wrap the twist you know in Bantu knot form around without getting too close to the root I want to have like that little space between the scalp and the bantu knot and you'll see it better once I'm done twisting it okay as you can see at this point it's loose it's not as tight to your scalp and I can even move it if I want to now, I didn't use bobby pins to secure the Bantu knot in place, but I would definitely recommend using one because when you lay down, I feel like it can knock some of them loose, especially since they're not tight to your scalp. I got this method from Leona Lynn Loves, by the way, and I'll leave her link down below. Now, this is for people who want to have looser, longer hanging curls. And um, this whole method of doing it on dry hair and, you know, not as tight to the scalp, that's what's going to give you. But if you want tight curls, then I would recommend doing it on wet hair and twisting it as tight to the scalp as you can get it. Because that's the only way to achieve this look. This one is going to give you more of a messy look. I just really like this method better because I like the outcome and plus it's way easier and more comfortable to sleep on. <laughs> so here's how the Bantu knots look after I'm done. And I'm just gonna put a bonnet on and go to sleep and take them down. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to unravel each knot as you can see, they're still springy, but just not as tight as they would be if I were to twist to the root or if they were wet. Now, some of them didn't come out perfect. In fact, some of them were a little, you know, loose, not as springy, didn't have as much curl towards the end. So that's something I would definitely focus on next time. Maybe, maybe put a little bit more product on the end or make sure it's twisted and definitely use bobby pins. I feel like that's where I made a mistake. I should have definitely used bobby pins. So at this point, I have a little oil on my hands and I'm just breaking the sections apart and twisting them around my finger. 
and they're looking amazing i'm loving these curls they're so cute this process took probably <laughs> as long as it did to uh do the bantu knots in the first place 